But there are two cocktails that I know of that are very closely associated with sporting events. Uh, the first is the Mint Julep, who is forever tied to the Kentucky Derby, just as the Pimm's Cup is forever tied to Wimbledon. But unlike the Mint Julep, the Pimm's Cup was designed to be light, refreshing, with a low alcohol content so people could drink these all day long. In fact, in a two week period, over 40,000 pints of Pimm's Cups are served at Wimbledon. That's a lot of Pimm's. Now the history of this drink is actually really well documented and it starts in London in the financial district around 1832. Then fishmonger turned restaurateur James Pym is said to start serving his guests uh, gin and herbal infusion concoction, if you will, um, simply known as number one cup. Now, this starts to become very, very popular, and in 1865, we see the very first bottling and selling of Pimm's No. 1. Now, in 1870, uh, Pimm's No. 1 gets even global recognition thanks to its new owner, Horatio Davies. Now, the British Empire continues its colonial expansion, and Pimm's goes along for the ride thanks to a very clever Horatio who sends some key military people off with bottles of Pimm's. Now in 1930, Pimm's undergoes some recipe changes and instead of just the number one, we see Pimm's one through six. Now every time you change the number, you also change the base spirit associated with the Pimm's. So the number two is a Scotch whiskey blend, number three is a brandy, number four is a rum, number five is a rye whiskey, and finally, Pimm's number six is a vodka base. Now, I'm not sure if the herbal infusion and the recipe of the other ingredients changes, but hopefully some Pimm's aficionados or experts can chime in in the comments below. Now, we can't taste a lot of those older recipes, but what we can do is have the classic Pimm's cup. So to make a Pimm's Cup, I usually like to add all my fruit and vegetables to the glass first thing. So the orange, your lemon wheels, your strawberries and cucumbers. To that, I add two ounces of Pimm's Cup and top it off with ice. And the last kind of final step here is to add your lemon lime soda and give it a good stir. Finally, you're gonna garnish it with some mint and a lemon wheel. Now you can make this as fancy as you want or as simple and clean as you want as well. It's one of the beautiful things of the Pimm's Cup. Either way, I hope you enjoy and cheers.